Hi, this is Morgan Jeremus with RT Book Reviews, and we are at the eBook Expo. Um, so we've got lots of digital first authors here, including Delphine Dryden, the winner this year of the RT Reviewer's Choice for Best Short Erotica. Um, that's a huge mouthful. Um, <laughs> really, really what it boils down to is you wrote a book, Theory of Attraction, novella Theory of Attraction, mm -hmm. and it is the hottest, most awesome, most wonderful. Like seriously, it got the, it got Seal of Excellence for that month. And I think what really for me put it over the top is your hero is a geek. He is. He really is. Tell me about the geekiness and where this came from. Well, this just comes from my family. Um, <laughs> when we sit around, we really do talk about things like rat genomes uh, while we're playing tabletop games. And so, you know, um, I have a friend who brags that the only time she's ever played Munchkin, she's actually played it with Steve Jackson. The geeks out there will know what I'm talking about because they went to Rice together. And so, you know, we all are from, all from Houston and half of them went to Rice and that's a big nerd population there. So I basically just was sitting around one time being jealous because I wasn't in the current Dungeons and Dragons group, the cowards <laughs> of Bardswell. Um, and um, we were, but the same group does a Shakespeare reading regularly. Mm -hmm. Wow, your geekiness just went from here to like here. <laughs> and, um, and I thought, wow, I should be recording some of these conversations because nobody would believe this. And then most of them are transcribed into the theory of attraction. So. Well, it's interesting because the heroine, she's definitely, in, she's very intelligent, but she doesn't reach the level of genius that, that maybe like like her hero does. Yeah. But but she she keeps up with him because she has something special. He is, Ivan is, is almost, he, he definitely has a social he anxiety. Has yeah, yeah. He, I, okay, that's, yeah. He's he, on he the has, spectrum. He's on the spectrum and he has problems. And so he comes to her because he needs help. And for right. Ivan to say that I need help is it's like. It's huge. Appeals for help are huge for people with Asperger's. Yeah, yeah but he knows to take, his, to take his career to the next level. He has to play the game, play mm -hmm. the academic game and, and, and kind of schmooze a little bit. Right. And I love this idea of the heroine. You know, you've got this genius hero and the heroine sweeps in and suddenly saves him. Well, and she's, and, and people didn't necessarily pick this up because I, I think people don't identify girls as being this way as much. She is almost his doppelganger emotionally. And so really, the, the fact that she was being asked to do this very analytical emotional thing <laughs> was really the only way she can approach emotions either. So, you know, I think that they... In the in the sequel in the seduction hypothesis, which comes out on May six from Korean Press, mm -hmm. sneak in a blurb. Um, <laughs> the there's a scene where um, they're they're at a convention, they're at a con, beast con, and um, you know they're there as one does, all in costume, and they um, Ivan is having a panic attack, and Cammy whips a paper bag out of her costume and just hands it to him and stands there while he hyperventilates into this paper bag because she just knows that he's going to need that because she's just analyzed him just like he analyzes everything and so they're really very much a match <laughs> and I think people didn't necessarily grasp her true geekiness but she is based on somebody that I know that actually does that job of parsing rodent DNA genome sequencing because she parses code for science and for she science. says that for, for science, science. <laughs> so yeah that's that's ab absolutely somebody that is one of the biggest nerds that i know that she's based on i found it really interesting from a sociological standpoint that people mm -hmm. didn't really get that about her some of them found her cold and i think that that is yeah, right on the money. I'm know? not sure if you could call anything about the story cold because <laughs> it is. We're talking about the characters and and their careers and their intelligence, mm -hmm. but there is some spice. When I say erotic romance, there is it. It, it gets hot, and you don't necessarily equate kind of like the the more like the, the conventions and yeah. the and the scientists with this. But um, Ivan has a little bit of a secret. He does. That, that you want to share he's his secret? Super kinky and and <laughs> is a, a sexual dominant. And the reason that I did this is, you know, I've, I've been into BDSM for a long time, and one of the things, there are a lot of perceptions about that lifestyle and that community that 
are not necessarily inaccurate, but there's an aspect that people miss, which is that a lot of people are into kink because they geek out on it, and mm -hmm. they are so into it. And if you if you meet them, the first thing they do is whip out their big bag of whips because they really want to show you how they all work, and they're all. And there's a lot of engineers and a lot of computer guys. There's a, somebody that uh, that I know that is, you know, the the first time I met him, it was like all these. He has this huge bag of whips because that's his thing. He does single tails. And, you know, he was geeking out on the quality of the leather and the whole thing. He's an engineer. And, you know, it was just really, it was interesting to me because it's not something that people usually think of. But a lot of people are, you know, super into that in the same way that people geek out about just anything when they're that type of person so well there's and there's a lot, a lot of, of um, I think I think Cami which, which she kind of clues into also is there's a lot of con there's a lot of control, control issues. issues yes and for somebody in the BDSM lifestyle there there can be more of that control exactly. there can be the rules and there can be and and I think that's something that makes their relationship work and that's is you know what you're doing like it's very mm -hmm. they're very explicit I mean she's got she's got a lot of distancing issues you know she she doesn't approach him because what she's doing is analyzing his schedule. Oh, she studies him. She knows she, almost to the like, minute where right. he is and what he's doing. And part of the reason is that she is just as regimented. Mm -hmm. And so she's there. She knows. She's at those same places every day, every time, too. Not because of him, but just because that's how she rolls. With Cami, she's also seeking control but from it from the other angle she wants to be able to lose control Ivan has to have control because he can't approach people any other way mm -hmm. she kind of wants to be in a situation where she doesn't have to do that because she is more emotionally competent than he is and so she knows that's something that maybe she needs to be healthy and so mm -hmm. you know they just have very very different applications of the same problem okay so we've got so theory of attraction that's out now mm -hmm. and it's one awards and we love it and so we have the seduction hypothesis right. and and we already know that it takes place at a con with mm -hmm. with costumes and all of that yes. is there anything you you can tell us about it that that we can look forward to um yeah there's a scene in the theory of attraction where ivan is there at the barbecue and ivan is talking to this girl about her trip to costa rica and she's there with one of the other nerds uh ben and that is the couple that is in the seduction hypothesis because Ben really, really doesn't understand why his, at the time, ex-girlfriend, when the book starts, they're on the rocks, um, why she's attracted to Ivan. And she's really not, but she picks up on the Dom vibe and she, and she likes the dynamic between Ivan and Cammie and she wants that. And she it takes her a long time to kind of figure out what it is that she's interested in. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, he interprets it as she just likes this guy. And, and there's a, a kind of a seductive quality to that scene because it's Cammie's encouraging him to treat it like he's interviewing a new submissive. And so that's what Lindsay, the second heroine, really responds to is that, you know, it's she, she likes being treated that way. Um, so over the course of the book, Ben kind of comes to that realization or acceptance that he was kind of stupid to be jealous because it's mm -hmm. really not about Ivan. And he ends up actually approaching Ivan for help with what to do if this is what... How the tables have turned! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you see a lot of Ivan and Cami in the book as well. And then Ben and Lindsay are there partly... Uh, they, they had signed up to go to this conference before they broke up. And mm -hmm. so they're all on this road trip together, those two, and then Ed, who is going to be the hero in the next book. Ooh! Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! <laughs> and, um, <laughs> And then Lynn, who is hopeless and is never going to be the hero of anything. And then um, we all know those people, right? Or the, are those people? One, yeah. Kind of. um, but yeah, they um, they they travel in a big RV to Phoenix for this con, and they all have these costumes. And one of Lindsay's costumes is for this BDSM comic that. You know, people have been asking me as they've been reading the reviews on NetGalley, does that actually exist? And I'm just telling them, for God's sake, don't Google that. <laughs> really, don't, <laughs> don't Google that because you don't want to know what you find when you Google BDSM comics. Um, you will find results, but not classy, tasteful, funny, arty <laughs> things, you know, that, like this. So there's this comic and they're all, you know, she realizes, oh, Cammy's reading it too. And then she realizes, oh, 
that's what's going on with, mm -hmm. you know, and she knows she's really turned on by it. Ben is actually turned on by it. It scares him because he doesn't want to be politically incorrect. Mm -hmm. You know, he's bothered by his impulse to do that. And so in the course of the book, of course, we have to, you know, get that stricture right out of him. He needs to lose that inhibition, otherwise there wouldn't be a book. So they work through that and, um, and there's a lot of smut, yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining me and signing at our Digital Expo. We really appreciate awesome. it. And tomorrow we're off to the award ceremony where Reviewer Choice winner Delphine Dryden will pick up her award. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much, Morgan. Appreciate it.